So let's face it here, these two phones, the Techno Camon 30 and the Infinix Note 40 are two phones that you, I feel you can't really get a winner in this comparison battle. Even if we're going to get a winner, it's going to be very close. And that's because both phones are so good in many ways. Now, like I said before, these two phones share a lot in common. For example, they both have the same processor driving them, the Helio G99 Ultimate, and also the same graphics card. So in terms of performance, we won't have to spend so much time talking about it. You will be getting the same value irrespective of which one you decide to go for. And the second major similarity is in their display. They both have AMOLED displays with the same resolution and the same refresh rate. Both phones are equally usable outdoors because they have the same 1300 nits of brightness. And also when you decide to watch videos on these two phones, you're going to have the same very sharp and accurate colors. And the only difference between the displays of these two phones is in the fact that the Infinix Note 40 display comes with a Corning Gorilla Glass protection. You don't get that with the Techno Camon 30. So really, when it comes to display, it's quite close, but I think the Infinix Note 40 has it for me. It is the same with battery, 5000 mAh on both phones. They also support 45 watts charging. Software on both phones is Android 14, and memory sizes on both phones is either 8 gigs or 12 gigs of RAM, along with a 256 gig of internal storage. But for pricing, take note that the 8 gigs, 256 gigs of the Techno Camon 30 currently goes for about 270,000 naira or $245, while the same 8 gigs, 256 gigs version of the Infinix Note 40 currently sells for about 330,000 naira or $300. Now let's talk about what will make you to start preferring one phone over the other, starting first with their designs. Both phones come with their own unique designs as you can see right now. It's a circular camera module for the Camon 30 and a rectangular one for the Infinix Note 40. Both phones have their rear made of glass, so in terms of build quality, it's practically the same. But then, it's actually impossible to not see that a little bit of more thought went into the design of the Techno Camon 30. In picture, you would think this has a leather finishing. In fact, in Techno Mobile's website, that is how it is portrayed. But the fact is that it's actually just glass. So when it comes to design, it will always be subjective. But if I have to choose the one I feel is better among these two phones, it will be the Camon for me. What about you? Let me have your thoughts in the comment section below. Now, something I forgot to mention at the start of this video is what you get in the box of both phones. And that's because even though both phones actually give you a lot of accessories in the boxes, the Infinix Note 40 gives you a little bit more. And I'm talking about this wireless charging pad. And that takes us to the next big difference between these two phones, charging. Now, even though both phones have the same 5000 mAh battery like I said before, and they also support the same 45 watts fast charging, the Infinix Note 40 offers you both wireless and reverse wireless charging capabilities. Now that means you can charge this phone wirelessly or you can use this phone to charge another phone wirelessly or using a cable. You don't get any of those functionalities with the Techno Camon 30. And trust me, these are very important features you don't want to really downplay because the day you will need it, trust me, it will be a lifesaver. Now let's delve into what could be considered the most significant point of debate between these two phones, and that is the cameras. In my opinion, the device that wins this round would be the superior choice to make, and I'm going to explain the reason why I said that later. In terms of specifications, the Techno Camon 30 comes with a 50 megapixel main camera that has optical image stabilization and another 50 megapixel front camera. While the Infinix Note 40 features a 108 megapixel main camera along with a 32 megapixel front facing camera. Now going straight to the quality of pictures taken by both cameras, let's start with what you get when you're taking pictures of say buildings or green locations. As you can see, under proper lighting conditions, both images appear really good and stunning. 
even when it comes to human subjects in focus, still under proper lighting conditions, like every other good cameras, these cameras did really well. HRO processing was great. The only difference between the pictures was just in the tone and the ambience of the two cameras. Now in portrait mode, this is where you start to see the Camon Excel a little better. The colors appeared richer and the skin tones were more accurately reflected. I won't say it is significantly better, but at least everyone in the studio agreed that the Techno Camon 30 has a better portrait mode. And where the difference is even more obvious is when there isn't so much light around and both phones have to work harder to process the pictures taken. Then you see that the Infinix Note 40 was not doing quite a good job as the Techno Camon 30. So under relatively low lighting conditions, the Techno Camon 30 came out better. In this photo, which phone do you believe manages sunlight more effectively? Undoubtedly, it is the Techno Camon 30. Sorry, Michael looks really tired in this image. So please subscribe to the channel and like this video, at least for his efforts. <laughs> and mine. Now, I also carried out zoom test, which I really didn't expect the Techno Camon 30 to win because it has a lower pixel count, that is 50 megapixel, as against 108 megapixel in the Infinix Note 40. But as you can see right here, the image quality at 10 times zoom was better with the Techno Camon 30 than the Infinix Note 40. Now, the difference, the disparity between these two cameras became even more apparent in low lighting conditions when I tried taking pictures using the super night mode. Now, you can see that the Techno Camon 30 obviously outperforms the Infinix Note 40. Honestly, I don't know what the Infinix Note 40 was doing right here because this is not in any way close to how my sitting room TV cabinet looks like. And to be sure of it, I had to take multiple shots and it was all the same. So it's clear that the Infinix Note 40 struggles in low lighting conditions and the image processing sometimes goes overboard. Now let's compare their videos. Both phones can shoot videos at 2K at 30 frames per second and this is how the video looks like. But then the Techno Camon 30 starts to outshine the Infinix Note 40 when it comes to video stability. As you can see right now, it has got more stability, which isn't surprising because if you remember, I said the 50 megapixel of the Techno Camon 30 comes with optical image stabilization. But when you are shooting videos at 1080p, both phones actually have what is called software stability mode. Still though, I just found the video with the Techno Camon 30 to be a little more stable. Both phones can shoot dual video mode at 1080 pixel and in my test, they really did both well. Now let's switch to the front cameras of these two phones. The pictures taken were practically the same. Both phones really did well when it comes to HDR processing and skin tones were also very accurate, both in the normal picture mode and in the portrait mode. For videos, the front cameras can go as high as 2K at 30 frames per second and this is how the videos look like. So from everything that we have tested, it is clear that the Techno Camon 30 has a better camera than the Infinix Note 40. Thereby for me, like I said before, making the Techno Camon 30 a better device than the Infinix Note 40. Now, why would I say that? Of course, the Infinix Note 40, like I said, has both wireless and reverse wireless charging that the Techno Camon 30 does not have. But think about it, when it comes to day-to-day -to -day real life usage, which would you prefer? Personally, I would always prefer the phone with a better camera, though that's with the reverse or wireless charging. And to think that the difference in price between the Techno Camon 30 and the Infinix Note 40 is about 60,000 Naira. I mean, that just settles it for me. But do you really agree to what I just said? Let me have your thoughts in the comment section below. For a more in-depth review of these two phones, you want to click on the two videos showing on the screen right now. And honestly, if you haven't subscribed to this channel at this point, come on. Just do it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.